I feel like they will deal more than enough damage with Harley, with Brody, and as well as Eve. Geek fam, they are lacking in that range department. So they really need to somehow figure this out. The thing is, the Harley is a bit susceptible to the I'm Offended as well as the other CC skills that can be allocated by the Ruby. But I'm wondering if they do require a bit more CC into their hands as well. Because the problem is, Ruby has a lot of, you know, things to deal with. Mm. I mean, the Brody, the Barretts, the Edith as well. Wow. But with that, they have added an additional burst. burst and magic at that because that's exactly what they were lacking in the Kagura. Well, let's just say this. It's going to be the battle of snowballs here. If Big Turn Alpha manages to get that early game, they will be able to just pick everyone off across the map with the Edith, get the damage done with the Yeev as well, and just outrange the side of Geek Fam. But if Geek Fam managed to get the early game, it's the complete opposite. It's going to be Geek Fam, you know, snowballing, getting yeah. the better of Bigatron Alpha. And again, the damage output is going to be the main concern for the side of BTR. Roger just absolutely smashes you with the Kagura as well. They need to be careful, especially with the Beatrix in that gold lane as well. On top of that, we've never seen a Harley in the hands of Max, right? That's true. true. So, okay, we're just going to have to see how that pays because we haven't seen them on this hero. I don't know how much of an impact this hero can have as well. But let's dive into the portal here for game number three, Mirko. Game number three, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to dive in right here, right now to the land of Don Key already spamming that emote right now as we are going to take a look at both of these side laners. Barats in the lane against Paquito. Like we said, it is a hard counter, Gani, but in the first game, we didn't see him, you know, really utilizing that. Earth Shatter going to be used. Actually, wow! Key steals the little minion away. Julian might be forced to use this retribution here. Does he want to risk it? It's going to be the Evo sticker to counter the Bigatron one, I think, you know, just put the Geek Fam one. I don't know why. Vince, <laughs> are they coming in to help Julian as they're going to go for the Lycan Pounds on to that? It's going to be Max taking away without the Retribution and instant collapse from the side of Bigatron Alpha. Matt comes in to deal some damage. Bigatron already with the lead. Okay, so Bigatron is playing a little more aggressive than we saw in game number one as well as game number two. And Geek Fam, for the moment, is still kind of behind, but the rotation of Roger has not yet been disrupted as much yeah. yet and the thing is about the roger once he gets that snowballing lead it's going to be very difficult for bigatron alpha to actually do something about it understanding that the only source of cc that bigatron alpha has is the earth shatter coming in from edith that is very much true so i feel like bigatron they need to somewhat pressure but take a look here rainbow and as well as been straining health here in the mid side with uh oh a collapse on Vince, perhaps. Deadly Magic going to be popped with a poker trick as well. Vince gets out really well right there, but he is going to get punished there. A lot of HP taken down. Renbo gets the better recall timing. And again, Bigatron Alpha just getting these little victories on the map. Yeah, the setup was there instantly perfectly timed as well before the turtle spawns. And that's exactly going to be what they want to go for. But Geek, I don't think they want to let this go without a fight here. Taking, giving, poking damage here for a better setup, perhaps, but Repo with the Daytona's welcome as well. Frico, Amigo. Yeah, there you go. Repo gets the pick and instantly that's going to be the onward and the Earth Shatter taking him down. Julian looking for the pick, but instant real world manipulation is going to be locking him down as Repo looks for the kill onto him. No flicker available. Yinang overturn already popped as well. Geek Fam needs to be careful here because Megatron Alpha, they have their number. It is going to be the turtle taken away by Max. It wins. Jumping aggressively onto him, but the poker trick will be able to chunk him really, really low. Rupture now going in. Doesn't have the I'm offended to connect. Renvi jumping onto Max. Flickers forward, actually backwards to run away. That's going to be regeneration. Poppy's trying to get away, but Renbo is right there with Repo. That's another kill. A two for zero. Key with the Earth Shatter. Locks Rupture in place. A double kill for Repo. A huge mistake by Geek Fam. Vince going in, and instantly we can already see Renvi trying to back up his teammate, but then he had to pay that with his life as well as another hero being taken down for the side of Victron Alpha. So 
at this moment, they're just feeding Bigatron Alpha into that gold lead. 2,000 now, already in 3,000 in the third minute. Uh oh, Key goes in for the onward. Julian's still able to juke away, dashes forward again. As that's going to be that's welcome connecting onto Rupture. He's going to go for a stun onto Julian. No, it just pops in on the wall. Earth Shatter instantly to combo it. And there you have it. A kill picked up. But on the other side, Renbo will get taken down as well. Now it's going to be an all out fight once again as Geek Fam tried to recover. But it is just a one for one trade. And the orange buff taken away, Gani. Oh, Max jumps over to Deadly Magic Renfi! Gonna get caught! Now, will he be able to survive though? Julian Grrr goes in for the trade. A one for one. A one for one, and surprisingly, Shout out Leo. Fam. Shout out Leo, but yeah, they are still behind here. Uh, Max finally gets taken down, but Geek Fam, they need to somehow find more compensation here. They lost a lot of trades and as well as objectives, per se, but. Yeah, they need to be more reactive. Oh, bot side, bot side. Swan is the target. Oh man, that's a solo kill. He doesn't even want to get the assist on that. He just, he walked by, he's like, all right, Matt's got it. Moving back. Yeah, I think that's one of the main options for the side of Bigatron oh. Alpha with that Earth Shadow coming in from Key. The pickup potential is definitely there, but we're going to have to see how it fares in a team fight kind of composition because soon the turtle will spawn and that's exactly another neutral objective that both teams want to contest but geek fam is behind in 3000 gold i'm not really sure if they want to do that or maybe they want to look for a trade on the map absolutely but now on the bottom side rupture goes in onto matt he does have the stun but it's gonna be the lycan pounds connecting once again turn up our memory going to be able to get the sustain as he survives a 1v3 renbo might just be looking for some more right now julian and schwan still in the bottom side matt gonna be able to clear it that's turtle taken down in the top side with the orange buff as well geek fam are losing on all fronts of the map man bigatron right now they are looking to claim their control here and Composition-wise, they are looking confident, but stop side. Bye-bye, Ren V. Now you see him, now you don't. That's Max picking up a 1 for 0 up top. And the turret in the bottom side also taken down by the minions. BTR completely controlling this game. Completely controlling the game, completely controlling the objectives. And it seems like in this game, they are a bit more intelligent in terms of setup. They are able to get pickoffs on the board and timed perfectly before these neutral objectives spawn. And Geek Fam, they do understand that they are on the back foot. They are looking for trades, but unfortunately, it just doesn't go as planned. They were trying to look for a trade on the bottom, but unfortunately, Matt was just too sustainable, was able to get away. But wait a minute, I think we're trying to they want something more. Renby goes up for the Aqua Strike, Earth Shatter connecting, Key now in a 1v2, goes in for the damage, Julian jumps in with the Lycan Bounce, but Vince gets taken down in the other side. Real world manipulation once more to zone Geek Fam away. Ren B is a quarter of health now. Bigatron Alpha moving Repo to the mid and going for that top side. Perfect macro movement from the robots. Another objective in their pocket, and when it comes down to it, what is going on here, Gani? Ah, Geek Fam, they get, just got driven from the plays, from the game plans from side of Bigatron. Right now, Bigatron want the mid side, and Geek Fam has no answer. Perhaps when Vince comes into play, but it is too late. Once again, they are driven by the plays from side of Bigatron, and no, no. answer whatsoever. I don't no. think that's it, man. Ren V, you deal damage, but not that much damage. Matt's still going to be able to survive. Schwan on the other side, forced to flicker away. That's going to be the minions collapsing onto the turret with Repo munching on it. Geek Fam now on the defense, but... Honestly, it feels like they're just they're just scrambling for something at this point. Julian will be able to get the turret down in the top side, but is it going to be worth it? The turtle will be controlled heavily by the side of BTR. Julian in the 1v1 against Matt goes in for the Flicker Sun as well. He actually cancels out that uh, Torn Apart memory. Julian able to use the Lycan Pounce really effectively, but Matt just slices him instantly with the basic attacks gone. <laughs> Bigatron, very, very different version from game one. Even game two, they they have their struggles. But in game three, it seems like it is a dominant showing from side of Bigatron. This is very characteristic of Geek Fam as well. Every time they are behind, it is always going to be Julian looking for a split push type of thing, looking for any compensation on the map. And I think Bigatron Alpha, they read this perfectly and was able to punish them for it. Death is welcome, gonna be popped. The viewer's passion as well. Repo goes in for a stun onto Schwan as well as Rupture gets pulled back. Max is instantly there. 40 follow up, a killing spree picked up, and BTR, they are controlling everything. Deadly magic on the front. Vince forced to back away. Tier 2 turn on the bottom side taken down. It's 
going to be Bigatron Alpha pushing their lead onto a 7.5k. Wow, I mean, Max first time on this Harley, his debut on the Harley and out of 5.12 KDA here, Gunny. Wow, Calamity Reaper, Genius One, and as well as Feather F Evan already secured here. 6.3k gold for Max, so a dominant showing, but oh my god. Yeah, that's going to be the kill picked up. Julian gets it, but it's on to the Roamer. 0, 1, and 3. That's his first death in the game. Doesn't have a shutdown. So I think Bigatron Alpha, they're going to be able to just chill. Yeah, I mean, four resources were spent onto Key. So even mm. though he was able to get taken down, now he understands how much baiting potential he has when it comes down to it. They are able to bait all these resources away from Geek Fam. And this is something that we were highlighting once again, Geek Fam. With their resource allocation, sometimes it's just so questionable. Yeah, they're not finding the right targets, not finding the right priorities. So, again, it is something that they really need to repair on that department at Eterna. I completely agree with you, Goni. Oh, no drama, but okay. Julian already secured, finally, the War Axe. But, yeah, 8.3k gold lead, 9 minutes in. Perhaps it is going to be too much for a side of Geek Fam Bigatron now with the Siege without the Lord though. Two seconds here for the side of the Lord to spawn. Bigatron Alpha just, I think, manipulating the waves so that they can be able to get the setup better than the side of Geek Fam. I feel like Geek Fam have no way to enter this jungle. Yeah, there you go. Rupture opening up the map, but Rainbow is right there for the damage. A That's going to be a lot of damage ready, man. Athena already popped and Max with Matt. We'll be able to just take this turtle, no, oh, Lord down instantly. Repo, zoning away the members, Rendy jumping to the backside, going through the knockout strike, unable to connect onto anybody, as that's gonna be him just taken down completely. A killing spree for Matt. Uh, that was just, I feel like, questionable for the side of Geek Fam now. The damage from Renbo doesn't choose to go for the real world manipulation, but that was just a desperate play from Geek Fam, Gani. A little bit too desperate, but I feel like there is nothing that they can do besides that, so. Right now, it is going to be a 10k gold lead in 10 minutes. Geek Fam, they are struggling to find either the slightest compensation. Take a look at the player's gold. Three members from the side of Bigatron is leading. So Bigatron, I feel like with this lower push unenhanced, could perhaps pick up two base turrets here. Yeah, I mean, they do have the high ground in terms of composition as well, and they do have the pickoff potential and the big and huge sustainability in the front lines in that Edith as well as that Barrett. So Geek Fam is on the behind. I guess the only option that they have is the Beatrix, but 10,000, almost 11, actually almost 12,000 gold behind. I don't see what they can do at this point, but let's see the setup coming in from Bigatron Alpha. They might just look for the end here. I'm afraid going to be able to connect onto Keen. That's going to be the mortality pop, but look at the ultimates used. The Beerus Bastion Key goes in for the Earth Shatter onto three. Renfi goes in for the knockoff strike, trying to save the team once again. Rupture dashes forward, but instant damage from Max. He gets the double kill. He's looking for the triple. Is this perhaps the Savage? The torn apart memory is the Twins wiping out Geek Fam. Bigatron Alpha have got and the reverse sweep, two to one. Wow, the reverse sweep coming through for the side of Bigatron in a very one-sided game. They really were able to wow. adapt so quickly and that was a really short and fast game as well. On paper, they should perform like this. Game number three. On paper, it was a huge gap for the side of Bigatron as well as Geek Fam. So I'm quite surprised in game one and two, Bigatron just struggles to find objective struggles to find an effective team fight, but in game number three, they are just hungry. And take a look at the Geek Fam side here. Still struggling, still have yet to accomplish a match. Sure, they win a game. It's a progress. Let's just build from there. But man, Bigatron in game number three, dominant one-sided victory. And there you go, Geek Fam. Yeah, that's Geek Fam, man. That is Geek Fam. I it, don't know what to say. It's heartbreaking, right? It is. Because they won the first game, they had their hopes up, and then it was instantly reverse sweet by Bigatron. I don't know what's worse, just losing from the get-go or